I, I'm dealing permanent. with ego, not always scientists. If they were scientists, I'd agree with you. If they said, your city won't work, your beams are too small, or something, yes. I can deal with it. I've never, been, never met a scientist yet. I met people that call themselves scientists. I don't have to tell you about my experience with scientists. Are you, are you one, are you a scientist? I would say I use the scientific method as Which much is, as I know how. What is the scientific method? According the method to you? is to try to make material, if you work in the aircraft industry, lighter, stronger, and then verify it by twisting it and measuring the force required to twist it, bending it, measuring the strength of the material. And then when you come up with a new material, submit it for, for test. And if the scientist says, what is that? Say, put it through the test, see if it's lighter, stronger than conventional material. If it is, uh, I did this in the aircraft company. I designed safety devices for years. And they patent everything. I don't own that. It belongs, everything you think of belongs to them. Did you know that? Even if you go home at night and think of an idea, it belongs to Douglas Aircraft. Right. I didn't know that at first. Then I went to a doctor who was a specialist, and he said to me, will you design some instruments, surgical, and for doing this, that, and the other thing? So I suggested something. He said, no, I'd rather go this way. I went his way. Here's what I suggested. You know what a turret head lathe is? It's a lathe I machine with drill bits that turn. Instead of changing your drill bit, one drills a hole, the other taps the hole, all on the turret. So the doctor didn't have to say the nurse, he must stand. Trent, retractors, they would turn and give the doctor whatever he needed. The doctor didn't get it. So he said, well, you do want to do it my way. I had to do it his way to live. You understand? I understand, yeah. Now, so nobody, but I ever, a guy came from Paramount Pictures. He said, can you make three-dimension movies without glasses? I said, yes. He said, how do you know you can make it? That's because I use this particular method. That's, I have to have words that have meaning. I can't say, I believe I can. If words have meaning, if a person says, there's not enough kindness in the world, I say, how would you do that? Said, well, I don't know, then shut up. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. So if a person comes up to me and says, I've come to help the Venus budget. I said, good. We need new agriculture to grow food twice as fast without exhausting the soil. Have you any suggestions? I said, well, no. I said, we don't want elevators to fall. Have you any suggestions? No. We want spaceships that don't blow up. Any suggestions? No. I said, go back to school and study robotics and study computer program, then come back. I'm not mad at them. They really want to help, but they don't know how. I've never met a scientist yet that said, what is a tailspin? Why do airplanes kill people? What kills people? Mostly fire when the plane crashes. Well, how do you prevent fire in a crash? I don't know. They always, I don't know. Yes. So I, what am I talking to them for? <coughs> Do you understand what I mean? You want to know about the Venus project? Ask about the Venus project. Yes, if you want to know whether the scientists accept it, they don't even know what it is. So you ask me to go yes, out, win acceptance?